Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's also an important reminder for all of us to get those yearly checks. Dr. Victoria Van Fossen joins us from Summa Health. It is so good to see you today. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Nicole. So I dressed in pink for this interview, and breast awareness is so important. Why is that, Dr. Van Fossen? Breast awareness is very important basically to be breast aware, mm -hmm. to be familiar with your breasts, to know what they look and feel like. So if you know what's normal for you, you'll know what's n not normal. So you may find like a breast lump or skin changes, nipple retraction, that sort of thing. And it's something that you don't always want to talk about, especially if you find something that maybe doesn't seem normal, but that's why it's so important to be aware. Absolutely, and also to bring that up to your doctor. Now let's talk about breast density. What is good, what is not good, and is there a way for us to tell at home? Uh, no, you can't tell breast density by, a, by the way your breasts feel. It's basically diagnosed on a mammogram. And so a dense breast is basically has more glandular tissue than fatty tissue. So it looks whiter on a mammogram. So important points are it is a risk factor for breast cancer but also um, it's harder for a radiologist to um, tell if there's a cancer there. So it's a very important to talk to your doctor about whether you have dense breasts because there may be supplemental screenings that you can have. Now you mentioned risk factors. Sometimes people can be genetically predisposed to breast cancer. Um, whether you are or whether you aren't, there are certain things that you can do to lower that risk factor, correct? Oh yes, there's, there's definitely things you can do to lower your risk for breast cancer. One of the most important things is maintaining a healthy weight. Sure. So postmenopausal weight gain is probably a significant risk factor for breast cancer. Also exercise, we all should exercise every day, 30 minutes a day, uh, lowering your intake of alcohol, less than four drinks uh, per week, not smoking, and just being aware of your breasts and your family history is really important. Summa Health is doing so much to help not only raise awareness, but also help people who have been diagnosed with breast cancer. What are some of those things that you're doing? Well, first of all, we offer 3D mammograms at all our screening sites, which is important for women that have dense breasts. A 3D mammogram is better. We also offer cancer risk assessments at each mammogram, so a patient will know with, if they're at higher risk, and if they are at higher risk, they'll be notified. So they can talk to their doctor about their risk factors and if they need additional screenings. We also have a high-risk breast clinic uh, that we offer that has personalized um, care to help prevent breast cancer and reduce your risk. Now, for people who are maybe approaching their very first mammogram, whether they're reaching that age or they have a family history, I know that's something a lot of people tend to be nervous about, but it really isn't that scary. Oh no, it's not scary at all. It's, um, it's not very painful. Um, you know, patients, um, they're, they're very, um, it's private. Um, there'll be a, a um, technician that is um, a mammographer that has special training in doing it. So um, it's, not, it's not scary. So breast cancer awareness, it's, it's a good time to be talking about all of these things, whether it seems uncomfortable or not, it's good to just be open about it. And again, if there's something that doesn't seem right, bring it up to your physician. Absolutely. Every so sumahealth.org forward slash breast. That is the website that you can go to. Dr. Victoria Van Fossen, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. And you can log on to their website for more information. Natalie?